namaskaram in this lecture we will learn mantras to solve the problems based on basics of ratios once you have learned the concepts this is what you have to carry to the exam hall mantras methods short crisp this will help you in last minute revision just before exam you don't need to go through whole concept just the mantras okay if a is to b is 2 is to 3 we can say we can write a as 2h b as 3h a is in the form of 2h b is in the form of 3h here h is any positive or negative number it can be positive it can be negative it cannot be zero if it is zero everything would be zero zero by zero not defined absurd okay this would be zero this would be zero absurd we usually take x as positive number my friends when you have so many negative things going on in the world why you want to be why you want to take x as negative again take x as positive so x is positive no when a is 2h b is 3h you can say a is smaller b is bigger okay a is smaller than b b is bigger than a so in the question a is to b is 2 is to 3 given in the options you have to see okay a value should be lesser b value should be bigger you have to look at those options if a particular option doesn't satisfy that you will eliminate that option if a particular option has let's say 5 is to 4 you will eliminate it if a option has 4 is to 6 a is to b as 4 is to 6 it may be our answer we are not sure we need to check b is to c as well okay so b is to c also you can go for which is smaller which is bigger you will eliminate few more options you can go for c is to d you can eliminate further see if you take x as negative everything would be reverse a would be bigger in that case okay and a b would be smaller see you take x as 1 you will be having a is equal to b is equal to 3 a is smaller b is bigger if you take x as minus 1 you would be having a as minus 2 b as minus 3 minus 2 is bigger than minus 3 right on real number line you will be having minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 like this no if you go from left to right values would be increasing okay so minus 3 is smaller minus 2 is a uh, bigger in the options you will look accordingly a would be bigger b would be smaller this is what you have to look but this requires some effort from our end that's the reason we are taking x as positive okay it makes the things simpler life's easier so first thing you have to do we'll see the problems not to hurry you have to see if a ratio is given you will know which one is smaller which one is bigger okay so in the options you have to compare the two terms and eliminate the options the options which doesn't satisfy this first term smaller second term bigger if they don't satisfy you will eliminate them this is the first mantra easiest way just by comparison you can eliminate few options that's well and good now second observation a is multiple of 2 2h no a is multiple of 2 h we do not know okay but 2 yes 3 here we have and we can say b is multiple of 3 so in the options you have to see first term should be multiple of 2 second term should be multiple of 3 so in the options you have to check the multiples okay if it is 4 is to 5 no first term should be multiple of 4 second term should be multiple of 5 6 is to 7 first term should be multiple of 8 second term should be multiple of 7 so you check the multiples and eliminate few more options see this method will work in most of the cases but you have to be a bit careful say in a particular problem you got x as 1 by 2 then a is 2 into 1 by 2 no so that is 1 you are checking multiple of 2 1 is not multiple of 2 do you understand so you may eliminate the options but based on this mantra you should not be marking the answer you have to go for one more step that is third mantra so you have compared you have eliminated few options checked the multiples eliminated few options now find out the ratios of options first term second term okay in the options and see if they are giving you 2 is to 3 if that's the case 
then that should be your answer. I mean, B is to C also should be giving the same ratio, whatever is given in the problem. C is to D should be giving the same ratio, whatever it is given in the problem. Okay. With this, you may be eliminating few options. With this, you may be eliminating few options. With this, you may be arriving at the answer. So with practice, you know, things will be more easier. Quickly comparing, checking multiples and checking the ratios, arriving at the answer. Which ratio you need to check? A is to B or B is to C or C is to D depends on the problem. Which is more simpler ratio? You have to look at the options all the time. Okay, make use of the options and employ these mantras, methods. Last mantra, you just have to substitute A as 2x, B as 3x. If A is to B is 4 is to 5, then A as 4x, B as 5x. Okay, substitute and solve the problem conventionally. Next, we'll go through the solved examples, employ these mantras, solve the problems, things will be more clear to you. So this is what you have to carry to the exam hall. Okay, comparing the values and then checking the multiples, checking the ratios, just substituting, I mean, formal definition of ratios. That's it. You can solve any problem based on basics of ratios. We'll see them. Thank you.